I finally bought an electronic drum set. And that's that's been my my one of my many, but but a pretty awesome thing of the year. So I um I've been playing drums since the third grade. And I kind of stopped for a while because drums are loud and obnoxious. And for the longest time, uh electronic drum sets were exorbitantly expensive or complete garbage. Uh and in the last few years, that gap has narrowed to the point where you can pick up a uh what is that? Uh, five piece drum set uh, that is perfect and fine and wonderful and can be used as a MIDI controller and does a whole bunch of stuff you wouldn't expect for the low price of $380. And get it shipped to your door, which is uh, bananas. And as a result, I went from not having played the drums in almost a decade to playing every day. Nice. So and that's my and, and, and you, don't, you don't bother everybody because the big thing with this is like you can wear headphones and you're not getting all the loud noise, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. It is, uh, and you can, uh, it's, it's, it's better for learning in a lot of ways because you're not, you don't have to hear the music over your own playing. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, you don't have to isolate yourself. You can like, it has audio in and audio out. You can do auxiliary input. Um, there are services like Drumio that are, uh, like web-based training for playing the drums and that kind of stuff. Mm. Uh, all of this has come an extremely long way. Uh, and it was wonderful to just like hop right back in and realize how accessible it has become. And it has been a, a nice, completely, uh, not completely non-technological, but like unplugged from my normal stuff. Awesome. What, what's the set that you have? I have the Alesis uh, Nitro Mesh. Oh, it's the first one that comes up in uh, in search. Yeah. Perfect. It's the one I'm showing. <laughs> yes. It's <laughs> over so on uh, Guitar Center, looks like it has it. Yeah. It's, it's also, that's one of the like the rare things where like the one everybody gets is the one you should get. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, <laughs> um, versus, I think, I think everybody gets like the wrong one for post podcast microphones, for instance. <laughs> right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Because they Googled it and they bought the first thing that was there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, a lot of us started on Behringer, but we, we upgraded eventually. We got some shore mics now. Uh, so um, that's awesome. So the, I, I, so the closest thing I have to this and it's still sitting in my dining room is my Guitar Hero uh, <laughs> drum set. <laughs> <laughs> if you've ever, if you've ever uh, like walked into a room where somebody was playing um, uh, Guitar Hero, the Guitar Hero drum set, uh, with headphones on, mm -hmm. that's what it sounds like in my house if I'm playing the drums. You just something you just hear is a lot of just tapping from just the tapping. other room, right? It's not right. like uh, you know. I I remember growing up, like the friends had drum sets, and you'd hear from like a block away. Like, oh, it's yeah. amazing how much the sound travels. There's there's there was a guy. I don't think he lives there anymore. He had rented a house like uh, five or six blocks away, mm -hmm. and he had a drum set in his garage. And his garage faced this way, and I could hear it in my backyard. 